intend to speak about the experience we have with the euro over the last 20 years. Uh, and we know that the economic environment today is getting a bit more difficult. Brexit is just one example of a mistrust, you know, in this globalization of uh, our world economy. And so I think it's a very serious uh, signal. It's not only because it's related to the UK, but it's much more broader. It, it reflects deeper mistrust in the way the global system is being managed. The same sort of uh, global context is that you have this trade dispute between the US and China. Uh, which creates a lot of uncertainties uh, about you know, what will be the global trading system in the coming years. Don't forget that firms are organized in a very complex way, what we call it global value change, where you produce you know, things uh, a little bit of in, in each country. When you put some disruptions you know, in, in the trade links in this organization, it can have potential very big uh, consequences on, on production in general and on profitability of firms. So what is happening today is not just a simple trade war between the US and China. It has much potentially deeper consequences on the world economy. Well, it was very interesting to notice in Peter's speech that he was emphasizing the need for more multilateralism and because the decline in multilateralism today is causing a lot of uncertainty to the global economy and it's damaging actually the economy. So it's an important call for working together in the world. The real reason behind what the measures that have been taken by the ECB so far and the, the rationale behind it. Uh, and it's important to, um, that, that someone as important as Peter coming up talking to people in a genuine way to explain that. And also to explain that why simplistic solutions just don't work. Well, the key message today is that we have to deepen uh, the monetary union in Europe, not only building the institutions that allows us to manage crisis, for example, but you need to have a strong Europe in that environment which is much more conflictual than before. We are very happy that I also invited my international colleagues from KBC Group here. We are with a group of about 20 economists here and they all enjoyed this event very much. I think this is a very impressive conference I attend the, the NBB conference from time to time and this is one of the best. It's very impressive. I like it.